What's up? I've been getting a lot of messages of people asking me how do I put the Android on the HD2. I'm going to show y'all in a real quick tutorial. It's real simple though, so just pay attention. First, you got to edit a few settings on your phone if you want it to run right. So basically, you just go over to the settings. Press the menu button right here. Click on all settings. And then click on system. After system, you click on power. Then backlight. Uncheck the box that says automatic adjust backlight. Because for some reason, if you leave that checked, It'll like mess up with something when you run an Android. So uncheck automatically adjust backlight and press done. Alright, so after that it's pretty simple. I'm uploading the file now, so I'll post a link. I basically compiled all the Android files. I updated the uh, HA Red and uh, the other file manually, so you know you're getting a Froyo build Android 2.2 running on your Android. So yeah, just download the pack I made, the Froyo build and HSPL3 pack. See, it's uploading now, so the link will be up there soon. I right, basically you get it. You put the zip file on your computer, then you unzip. You basically unzip all the files in my zip file to your the root of your SD card. And go to file explorer you see and I got all the Android files right here they shouldn't be in any other folder they should just be right here in your storage card folder and then it comes with its own folders like uh, Android folder and other stuff like that but you got to make sure these files are in the root of your SD card storage card you should see HA RET CLR, CAD, and uh, so whatever other files in there, but just unzip it directly to your storage card. Plug your phone up to your computer, use it as a mass storage mode, and then unzip the file you download right to the, the storage card, and then you'll be fine. All right, so basically, once you get everything on your phone, you click here to run this file first CLR. CAD. When you click it, nothing will happen. See, I just clicked it and nothing happened because basically you click this file to make the sound work on Android. So always click that first before you run Android if you want the sound to work or you want to be able to hear people on the phone. Click that CLR CAD one time. It'll run. Nothing will happen. Don't don't worry about that. Then right after that, click HA Rep. That's the file that actually runs Android. I'm sure you can't see because it's blurry, but HA Rep, the next file. You click that, then it'll do its magic. Bunch of technical garbage pop on the screen, you know. I'm sure you won't understand what that is, but. <laughs> Basically, it's doing its work. This process should take no longer than, I think, about two or three, four minutes. If for any reason it ever gets stuck or like loads into a green screen or a solid black screen, Android doesn't load. All you got to do is put on your, I mean, Basically, take the back off the phone off, unplug the battery, then plug it back up and do the process over again. Well, once it's on your phone, all you got to do is open File Explorer, click on the CLR, CAD file, then click on HA Red. Sometimes it might take about two or three times to get it running, but now it's pretty stable. They made uh, a lot of advancements in the Android app. I basically run mine 24 hours a day. Before, it used to freeze, and I used to just run it for... An hour here, an hour there, but now I just leave it on my phone now, period, without switching back to Windows Mobile. Here's the Android screen, and it's running Froyo 2.2. This should load up in a few seconds.
There you go. It's using the Nexus One ROM since the Nexus One has the Froyo 2.2 officially released for it. So I put my own background on there. Basically, just slide to unlock. Pick my home screen, ADW. Here it is. Smooth. Battery meter works. Oh, you probably can't see any of that. I haven't tried the Wi-Fi, I mean uh, Bluetooth yet, but Wi-Fi works. Battery meter works. 3G works. Everything works. My phone calls work. Some people say they hear like a robotic voice, but I mean, mine works. I'm not sure what I did. I heard that at first, but after a few times of booting it up, it, it fixed itself. I can see I downloaded a bunch of apps. Full market works. All you got to do is sign up for a Gmail account. Yeah, every app works fully on here. It runs smooth. I got no complaints at all about it now. See, settings work, everything. And this is running strictly from the memory card, so this is not touching any fi any files inside of your phone, so you don't really have to worry about that. I guess the battery might drain a little faster since it is running strictly from the memory card, but I'm sure they'll be working on a way to run it from the phone pretty soon once it's finalized, because now it's just beta testing. Yeah, you see that? It works. Check the market out. Full market works, no problems. And for some reason, the 3G is a little slow. I'm not sure if it's the code or what, but it's just a little slower. It still works, though. I just use Wi-Fi mainly when I'm at home. When I go outside, I just switch it back to 3G. It's loading up. This works. Power saver alerts. My battery's low. I installed a task manager. Full market. Full working Android market. So basically, it's just that easy. You click on a link. I'm going to post the link for the file right on the video. So just click the description and click on the link to download it. I'm going to upload it in my media fire. But basically, I compiled all of the newest, best files for the, or well, the most stable files for the, any working Android on in the one. So, just download it and enjoy it. Remember, step one, download the zip file I made. Step two, plug your phone up and click on mass storage mode. When prompted on the phone, click mass storage. And then you know it should pop up on the screen. That unzip wherever you downloaded the file from. Unzip the file directly into the the SD card. You should see it in the unzip screen. Then after that, basically it's smooth sailing. It'll unzip a few files, Android folder, and those files. Then remember, in your on your HD2 on Windows Mobile, go to Windows Explorer. I mean File Explorer. Go to Storage Card. The file should be right there. First, click on CLR, CAD. Nothing will happen when you click on that. That's just to get the sound working once again. Then right after you click that, click on HA Rep. That should work. If for some reason you try to boot it about three or four times and it still freezes on you or gives you a green screen, you might need to update your the radio on your phone or the HSPL. I included that file in the zip file as well. So... If you try to boot the Android three or four times, it's still not working. Double click that HSPL3 EXE file. That basically updates uh, like some image in your phone to let you be able to, you know, customize it and do other things with it. But you run that HSPL.exe, plug the phone up, and it should work fine. Leave me a message or comment if you got any questions, any problems. All right.